Hello there! This is Bob Bobson 6868 and I had someone request that I make a tutorial. I've never done a tutorial before, but this will be my first attempt. I've been doing a lot of live streaming lately, and so somebody asked me my settings for live streaming, so I just figured I would show you uh, exactly how to live stream and everything. So what you're going to want to do is go to twitch.tv and then you're going to want to sign up and just go ahead and do this stuff right here and since I've already signed up I'll just go ahead and log in and so that's basically it and then the thing is with twitch.tv is they they kind of host your live stream but they don't give you the tools needed to actually make the live stream so what you're going to want to do is go ahead and go to Google and search for XSplit and go to XSplit.com and this is going to be the tool you need to actually live stream your game. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to register. Uh, just go ahead and fill this stuff out to register and that will give you an XSplit account and then you will also need to download XSplit so click the link to download and basically what you'll get is this program right here XSplit and uh, you put in your username and password and you click login now this is a beta and they, they do want you to eventually pay for this or pay now for this so they just have a little uh, starting screen where it gives you the option to pay So you do you do have to wait for that, but it's just a, a ten second wait to use this for free. It's pretty good. Uh, I was using another program and it did not work well at all. This one has been pretty well for me. I've only been live streaming for just a few days though, and this one seems to be working for me. So uh, first thing you want to do is select a scene, and uh, we'll just go to scene three, and you can basically uh, go to add and then you can add your camera or a media file or a screen region or a game or a live stream or just tons of things but it, say you want to live stream Xbox <clears throat> what I do is I just open my uh, program that I use for recording Xbox and then I go to add screen region and you get this little thing if you click it it'll just show your whole desktop but you don't want the whole desktop to be broadcast so all you do is click where you want it to start and then just make a box where you want it to be I think right here and there you go that gives you that so that's what I've already got on my scene too so then you need to go to tools and go to general settings and you can put this information in there if you want uh, I don't think any of that you need to change and then you need to go to channels and you're going to want to add your Justin slash slash twitch TV account which uh, I've already done but it just basically asks for your username and password and your channel uh, I think if you just go to channel and copy the link that goes in there and that should be pretty self-explanatory it'll let me cancel okay so uh, for my settings I'll just go to edit my my uh, Twitch TV and these are my settings right here I want a quality of 5 and a max bitrate of 900 a buffer kilobit of 900 and default stage resolution default resize method and then my audio encoding I have on 32,000 kilohertz 16-bit stereo and then my bitrate I have as 80,000. I've kind of played with this a little. If I set it up to the next one, it seems to just make it lag too much 
bad. I'm not sure if I tried lower, but if you don't change these audio settings, your audio is just going to suck really bad. So I would definitely do that. You can go to test bandwidth, but mine usually says it's not, I don't have enough, but I usually do okay. And then one, one thing that um, I noticed, if you go to, you can go from here and go to broadcast, and then it will be broadcasting on Twitch TV. So if we go to uh, my channel, uh, you'll see here that it's it's broadcasting what is on my screen. Uh, there's obviously going to be a delay, but um, one thing I noticed, oops, sorry, 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 is that you would get a really small picture and it would look terrible and so what you want to do to change that is just change your resolution see if I change my resolution to 400 by 300 and then I go to broadcast you're gonna get this smaller picture very pixelated if you go to full screen I mean you can't read anything on there you can't even really you can barely tell that that says twitch so like I said, you want to just change your resolution, and you can't be broadcasting when you change your resolution. And a lot of this is going to have to do with your um, your internet, but my internet's not that great. I got a 10 megabit download and a 1 megabit upload, and so I do the 640 by 360, which is uh, 16 to 9, so it is widescreen at least. So then when we see that, you see now it's full screen. And when you, you can you can read some of it. I mean you can clearly tell that's Twitch. I don't know why that keeps magnifying. I think it's being annoying. But but Man, why do they keep doing that? I think it's because I have that over that and it's making it confused. <laughs> So those are my settings. Uh, that's how you do it. If if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Um, you can also add things onto the same uh, same screen. So you could add a webcam on here or whatever, so you can broadcast yourself while you're going to. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.